last night. Head coach Megan Bartlett had her batting in the number six spot. Starting left fielder for Arizona State swings at the next offering and misses, and that's a strikeout on three pitches to get things started on the right foot. Field playing in at first base. Brooke Nelson over there. The pitch swung on. Fly ball left field. Avery Hobson moving over toward the line. She'll make the catch in foul territory for out number two. for Alicia Denby. Lopez's next delivery, swung on a miss, she strikes out Denby and that'll do it for Arizona State here in the top half of the first inning. Field playing in for the Sun Devils now as the full count pitch is on the way. And it is a called strike three, says Jim Bertuzzi behind the play. So a strikeout looking to get things started offensively for the NFCA and the ESPN.com polls. Now Jones ready to deliver again. Pitch is swung out, a foul tip into the glove of the catcher, Kinch, and another strike. The pitch. That's up high, and Holtorf will toss the bat aside and head on down to first base with a walk. So let's see if Alana Johnson can make something happen. You could probably hear the wind on my crowd mic that I have outside of the press box here. Next pitch on the way now. That's down low. There goes Riley Haltorf. She's going to dive in the second base without even drawing a throw. The pitch. Sherwin Butt lays one down. It's a beauty, too. She should beat it out. Not going to draw a throw as Kinch drops the ball, and the bases are loaded. Feeler with a beautiful bunt single to load the bases here in inning number one. The full count pitch now swung on. There's a drive into the gap left center field, running over and making a good catch is Yaya Acuna, and that'll do it for the Huskies here and their threat in the first inning. <laughs> Lindsay now ready to deliver again, and this pitch is swung on. Fly ball left field, kind of deep. Back on it is Hobson. She'll make the catch right in front of the warning track for out number one. Van Hook will have to retreat and go back to first base. One away in the RBIs this season. Pitch swung on, line drive out into right field, taking it on one hop is Alana Johnson. She'll hustle the ball to first base and almost got it there ahead of Kinch. Around down the right field line. And the pitch on the way, change up, and that's in for a called strike three. Boy, Lindsey Lopez delivered a beauty right there. Got around, Aiden Allen. Also has a good curve ball. Here's the next delivery, swung on, ground ball right side up with it, Sully's and she'll deliver the first in time to get Walsh for out number three. Now the full count offering. That's swung out and missed, and Olivia Johnson strikes out, leading off the bottom of the second inning. And Oregon State also split a doubleheader. The full count pitch again, and that's in for a called strike. Avery knew it too, she just turned and Headed for the Husky dugout. Carter waiting the next pitch from Deborah Jones. Here it comes now. And that's in for a called strike three. And the Huskies go down looking in your leadoff spot here in game two of this weekend series. The next pitch to her swung on. Pop up, shallow left field. Avery hops and moves a few steps to her right and makes the catch for out number one. That'll bring up her. So far, a good matchup between these two teams that have seen plenty of base runners, but nobody able to score. The next delivery, that's up high, and she walks. BYU, the next pitch, swung on, popped up, shallow right, or I should say, <laughs> the second base, and Jillian Sullins makes the easy catch for out number two. Third base coach's box, Haley Decker, one of the assistants over at first base. Runner at second base, here comes the pitch. It's swung on a miss. And Lindsey Lopez strikes out Alicia Denby to ace Hale our way. The pitch swung on, chopped up the first base line. Gathering in over there is Van Hook. She'll take it to the bag herself for an easy out number one. On the field right now, light shadows, I might add. Jones taking her time between pitches, delivers. There's a swing and a little pop up to the right side. That'll be gathered in easily by Libby Walsh, the second baseman for out, became the second when she transferred from Oklahoma State. Next delivery now, swung out and missed, and Kinsey Fielder strikes out to end the third inning. Huskies have been. 
Here we go again with the count two and two. Swing, ground ball off the glove of Lopez, gathered in by Sullis at second base and delivers in time to get Jordan Van Hook. Score at one, four, three for out number one. Nice play by Sullis in game one last night. The pitch, swung on, line drive, base hit, out into right field. So LeClaire waited on the changeup, timed it right, and to the plate once again. This pitch is swung on, ground ball is short, up with it. Pole torch will go to second for one. The relay to first, and it's in time. The Huskies turn the double play here in the top of the fourth inning. Paul Torf and Sully's had to do everything right, and they did. Sun Devils delivers her first pitch to Sydney. It goes off the glove of catcher Sarah Kinch and actually hit Stewart, so she's going to head on down to first base, being hit by the first pitch. Heather working the third base coach's box. Here comes the pitch. There's a bunt being laid down up the third base line. Going to be gloved by Lissy. And she'll deliver the first in time. Now here's Stewart rounding second. Now she's going to head home after sliding into third. The throw is high. And Stewart comes in standing up to bust up the scoreless ball game. Wow, that was weird. Stewart was on her way to second and then deliberately was being Stewart trying to advance there. She slid in ahead of the throw, which went a little wide and trickled behind the bag and then Stewart got up and came home and scored on a wide throw, a high throw from the third baseman Lissy. So an out and a run scored. The pitch. Here's a swing. Ground ball is going to get through out into right field. Hobson's going to be sent home. Here comes the throw. It's going to be high and wide. That will allow Carter to go down to second base and the Huskies lead it two to nothing. It's been pretty strong. I mean, these throws are, haven't been that far and off the mark. So Hobson comes in to score. Washington leads it 2-0 over Arizona State. And they uh, gather now in the circle to talk things over a little bit. Do the 15th rank. Against Lindsey Lopez leading off the top of the fifth. Pitch swung on and missed. He fanned on the changeup. That fooled her badly. And Lopez now with her fifth strikeout of the ball game. Lopez has allowed just two hits so far in this game through four and a third. Next pitch, swung on, ground ball hit to Sully's at second. She'll glove it cleanly and throw to first in time for out number two. 2008 and 2011. Those uh, sandwiched around the Huskies national title in 2009. Swing on a ground ball, backhanded nicely by Brooke Nelson at first. She'll take it to the bag herself for out number three and that'll do it. One, two, three here in the fifth inning and is relieved by Mac Osborne. There's a swing and a line drive base hit. That's going to get all the way to the wall down the left field line. Haltorf is on her way to second base and she'll dive in well ahead of the throw for a leadoff double here in the fifth inning. Pitch on the way, swung on. There's a drive to straightaway center field. Back on to Kelsey Hall and that one's going to get out of here for a home run. Alana Johnson, a two-run blast to put the Huskies in front four to nothing. That's home run number four this season for Alana Johnson, and it comes with nobody out here in the fifth inning. Riley Haltorf will score ahead of Lana J, and the Huskies now have a sizable lead of four to nothing here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Huskies unable to score in innings number one, two, and three, and then they put up two in the fourth and now two here in the fifth so far. Nobody out though as Kinsey Fiedler will step spring forward as they say. So everybody gets an hour less of sleep tonight. Unless you go to bed an hour earlier than normal I suppose. There's a swing and one hopper hit back to Osborne in the circle. She'll turn and throw to first for an easy out number. Hung out with her dad a little bit last year. Colin is a retired police officer. As the pitch is swung on, ground ball hit the short, up with it over there. Denby hustles the ball over to first base in time to get Sydney. See if Ojo can get on track here a little bit against Osborne as the full count pitch is swung on. Ground ball hit the short. Denby up with it. She'll throw to first in time, and the inning comes to an end for Washington. But not before Alana Johnson hits a two-run home run. Lopez ready to deliver again, and this pitch is swung on. Chopper hit the short. Up with it, Holtorf. She'll gun down the runner at first for out number one. That ball was quite a mix of weather here today. The only thing that's been consistent is the wind. There's a bunt being laid down. Glove, uh, covering on it is 
Brooke Nelson, who delivered us first, where Sully's is covering, but the throw not in time, and Lissy's on with a bunch. Next pitch on the way. There goes the base runner, throw on down to second base, and it's in time to get the base runner. Kayla Lissy gets thrown out by Sydney Stewart, who put the ball right on the money, just to the first base side of second. Now the pitch. Swung on, fly ball right field, hustling in is Alana Johnson. She reaches out, makes the glove catch, and hangs on to it. Looked like it had a chance to pop out of her glove, but she squeezed it strong. Games as they have the so-called bye week, as each team does once per year in softball. Pitch down low, and on four pitches, Brooke Nelson will toss the bat aside and head on down to first base. Driving in a run as well. The pitch. Outside, there goes the base runner, Jing Garner, throw on down to second base, and it's in time to get Jing. And she was definitely out on that play right there. Good throw from Sarah Kinch to get Jing Gardner attempting to steal. Score it 2-4. One away, done. I don't think she's gonna challenge the call and ask for a replay. No, she's not, but she continues to. They're gonna review it, and they're gonna say she was safe. So Jing Gardner will be ruled safe at the call reversed here in the sixth. Swing and a miss to Hobson. A tag being put on after the third strike was dropped by Kinch, and she does record the out on Hobson. So Avery strikes out for a grounded into double play. So here again is the one-two pitch to Brooklyn Carter. She swings and can't make contact, and she's gonna strike out for out number two. Pitch to Sully, swung on, ground ball up the first baseline. It's gonna stay fair. Standing right on the base is Van Hook, the first baseman, and she'll step on the bag for out number three. So the Huskies are done here in the sixth. And now it looks like we might get this whole thing in. There's a swing and a ground ball back up the middle. So a leadoff single for Audrey LeClaire, who's two for three in the ball game. Four. Waiting for the next pitch, it's swung on. High fly ball, deep right center field, back on at Brooklyn Carter. Now she's gonna be called off by Alana Johnson, who makes the catch for out number one. Almost had a collision out there in right center field and sun shining and filling up a portion of the infield here at Husky Softball Stadium, not to mention a good chunk of the grandstand. Swing and a miss, and Lindsey Lopez strikes out. Cunningham for out number two here in the seventh. Utility player to step in against Lindsey Lopez. First pitch swing, and it's a little pop up to short. It's gonna be gloved and squeezed there nicely by Riley Holtorf, and the ball game comes to an end. First pitch swing, and it's short and she pops up. In the seventh for Arizona State, no runs, a hit, no errors, and a runner left on base. Final score in the game, the Huskies four, Arizona State nothing. I'll be back with the final totals after.